Hey, how are you guys doing today? Today it's a wonderful day. Feeling good. Hope you're feeling good too. What I'm going to show you, it's, it's amazing. Um, it's the new way of living. New way of living or the new way you should start living. And if you're not living this way, you should start changing the way things happen around your home. Now, this is a brand new home. Probably less than a month, month and a half old. And what I've decided to do to this property, first of all, this house is out to the city, out to the city. And that's what I like it. It's out of the city. So when I come out here, it's my country home, I call it. It's quiet. The neighborhood is quiet. The community is quiet. And uh, it's just relaxing, peace of mind. I can clear my head. Um, I can clear my diet. I'm going to show you all that kind of stuff we can talk about. Um, so when I, I'm away from the city, which is good, I'm not convenienced to crap, to eat. All the crappy food and all the crappy stuff. All the cars driving up and down and all that stuff. So I get out to the city for this reason, this reason, really only, okay? So I'm going to show you how to two things, oxygenate your house and alkaline your house today. It's very important. Now only your house, your mindset, and also your body. So three ways you can clean up your body through the quality of air you breathe, the quality of water you drink, and the quality of food you put in your system. And I give some funny jokes that we get upstairs and talk about the juice and stuff, what really happened just this past week with me. Now, first, let me talk about the air. Oxygen is very, very important to the body, okay? Where the body's lacking, lacking oxygen, it entertains disease, okay? Same thing with alkaline. If the body is lacking alkaline level to certain, it entertains disease. If it's more acidic than alkaline, it gets disease, okay? So if you can contribute on a daily basis towards giving proper oxygen in the body and make the body more alkaline to the top level, bingo, you gonna be healthy for a very long time you won't have a weight problem like most people go up and down the weight because they're eating all the wrong kind of food okay your, your weight should be very consistent and um, your health to be consistent doesn't mean you won't get sick but it won't be every season it'd be like maybe once every two years or once a year if that much okay as you interact with people who have more bacteria than your body can handle so let's talk about putting oxygen in the body today now traditionally builders build home airtight that means they build it in such a way that no air goes out and no air comes in. And that works great for a very long time. Until they realize, a few years ago, that the quality of air in the house was very, very bad. Why? You have a large group of people living in the same home, breathing in and breathing out the same air, and they didn't open up the window for half an hour to an hour, even more, depends among the people living in the house, per day. So if you have a large group of people living in your home, and it's airtight, you should open up your windows half an hour to an hour, even two hours per day to get fresh air coming in and circle it all over again. Okay, but people are lazy, they're not gonna do that. You guys can not do that, especially in winter time, you know, open up your window, you know that. <laughs> you're like, ah, uh, yeah, I, I suppose so, but no, you're not opening the window for half an hour, hour. You know, you're not getting fresh air into your house. So once the builders realized that people weren't doing that, the system came into place. This here, folks, it's called the HRV. The HRV system, okay, this is not, this is an HRV, but this is actually an upgraded HRV. It's called an ERV, okay, and I'll tell you the difference between the two. The HRV system, this is designed to bring fresh air from outside, whether it's winter time or summertime. It brings fresh air from outside, it filters it, take it through the furnace system or to the air conditioning system and distribute it all through the house. Take the, the bad air out and push it outside back again. So it's constantly giving you fresh air coming inside the house. Now, it depends on how you set this thing here. You could get the full air exchange in your house anything between three days to a week to two weeks, okay? So you're constantly getting fresh air in and out the house. And that's what you need in your house, the oxygen coming in fresh from outside, filtered right through the system. Now, if your furnace room can't accommodate this or you don't have the budget to put this inside your house, the cheapest way to go is to open up your doors, or open up your, your windows, get a, if, if, you have, if you have a big house or a detached home, open up your front window and your back window and you get an air flowing through for half an hour to an hour, even two, to get fresh air coming from outside into your house and, um, and you can breathe better. Now the problem with that now, that is going to cost you money because you're losing the heat in the winter time, you're losing the, the, the coolness in the summertime, but that's the cost of being healthy, okay? You need fresh air coming in. You can't be locked up in a tight box breathing in the same air all the time, you and your family and friends, and expect to be healthy. So oxygen is very, very important to the body. Now this one is called an ERV, so it's an upgraded HRV. And what an ERV does, 
it helps the humidity inside the house. So it stabilizes the humidity in the house. So this is synchronized with the furnace system and stabilize the humidity of the house and give you fresh air coming all the time. Now I'm gonna give you a trick to the I'm gonna give you a trick to the game. If you have a large family and you stay in there, spend a lot of time at home, the furnace fan. You can put it on a 24-hour rotation. That means this furnace fan is constantly bringing air all the time, distributing air all through the house and circulating and filtering it. That's a, a good tip you can use if you want. If you have a large family living at home, you get a furnace fan going 24 hours. Now, it's a little bit costly, but again, proper health is going to cost you more money. So that's how you get oxygen into your house 24 hours a day, constantly install an HRV or ERV, ERV preferably. And, and you keep it on full rotation or every single time. Now, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is water. Water makes up 80% of the body, just like food, okay? Nutrition contributes to 80%, food contributes to 80% nutrition the body needs, not exercise, food. Keep in mind, not exercise, food contributes to 80% nutrition in the body. Exercise plays a very minimum part in how healthy you become. So if you're overweight or you're unhealthy, the last thing you should be doing is running to the gym, <laughs> okay? The first thing you do is run to the kitchen. Clean out the kitchen, get the crap out, and get quality food into your kitchen, not the gym. Exercise is good, but it's not the priority when it comes to eating, when it comes to becoming healthy. The kitchen is the number one, okay? Now, what's going on here now? This is a filter system, water. We're getting good quality water into the house today. Now, you can do this two ways. You can get an alkaline system installed, that just go under the counter. That means you're just getting water to drink, alkaline, and you should be good to go as well. Now, I take it a bit step farther. I don't want water from the tap only to drink. I want full alkaline water passing right through my body. Because listen to me, folks, your skin is larger than your mouth, okay? Your skin is larger than your mouth. What does that mean, folks? Your skin will intake more water than you can afford to drink, okay? So to just drink alkaline water is one step better than drinking crappy water. But if you really want to crank it up a notch, you go with a full alkaline system inside the house. You get, an out, you get the water. You can drink water from every tap in your house, including from the washroom, okay? You have in the shower, you want to drink some water, you can drink water from the tap because you get the alkaline water right to the house. And let me show you how it goes, folks. Uh, come this side, please. This here is a system. It's called a scale watcher, okay? And what this does, when the water coming from the main, the scale, water, the scale watcher treats the water. Descale it, get rid of the calcium, um, take rid of the smell, and pre-treat the water without losing any nutrient that's coming in there. Okay. Then once it passes through this system here, it goes into here. This is the big guy here. This does all the filtering. Filter the water as much as possible a bunch of times, and also increase your pH level, which is the alkaline. Increase the pH level. Now, this guy is so good, well, guess what he does? Once a week, or once every two weeks, you can sell it how you want it, it does something called a backwash. And the backwash, it gathers all the sediment and all the crap that comes through the, um, the, 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 the line from the city. It holds it here and it flushes it out through the system here once a week. So this don't have a chance of coming into your tap. It doesn't have a chance of coming into your, your appliances, whether it's your, your washer and dryer and these kind of things. Okay? So it just gets treated, increases the pH level. And we take it a next step further. We in, uh, include another filter here. This filter again, whatever this guy miss, this guy picks up. Filter it again, increase your pH level, and it goes right through the house, giving you a full alkaline water system going through right through the house. Your clothes wash better. Your skin feels better when you have a shower. You can actually have a shower at night and don't lotion your skin because the, the pH from this water is so good, your skin do not get dry. No chlorine gets into the system. Your hair gonna be filled, for women are gonna understand this, your hair gonna be a wash, wash better because there's no chemicals or chlorine in the water coming to damage your hair. Women understand that very because they have a, they wash it a lot and, and, and if the water is bad, if the water is bad, the water is hard, it affects your hair. This softens the water as well. Give me a good quality water. And that's how you put oxygen right to the house, to the air. And then you have a good alkaline system built in right through the house. Okay, if you have kids, kids who have eczema and this kind of stuff, the alkaline water will be better for the skin and minimize any medication and stuff that you, you have to do. Another thing I actually try to practice as well is don't clean the house with products. 
no chemical products clean the house. Uh, two things I try to use is um, baking soda and vinegar. That's it. Baking soda, vinegar, you air out the house. Um, good air coming through, alkaline water, you should be good to go. Now, this is how you alkaline the system and put oxygen into your body on a consistent base. And this is how you probably should be living 24 hours a day. Unfortunately, we're in the office, you wouldn't have all this stuff. But if you go into the office, you open up your tap, you carry a nice big jug of water, and you drink alkaline water all day. You come back home, you have a shower, and this kind of stuff, and that's what keeps your body healthy. If your money is not good, unless you're healthy to enjoy it. So health first, money after. Uh, and you probably look wrong here, you see we're doing some um, framing of the basement here. I'm gonna shoot a video on this as we move forward in the future. Which is, um, we should be doing a nice three bedroom, two full bathroom down here. And uh, I'm gonna talk about this as we get more closer to completion and showcase you how this gets put together and how we put this all nicely packaged. And we, I'm gonna show you from the builders, from the builders contract all the way to the end, what it's gonna look like. Now let's get upstairs, get into the kitchen, and I'm gonna show you how to eat properly. And I'm gonna give you a funny story that happened to me this week. Let's get going. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, thank you very much for continuing watching this stuff. This stuff is amazing. Um, as you know, health first, money after, as, as I always talk about, and I, I, I make sure that people understand that um, because everybody wants to make money, but everyone wants to become a millionaire and become very successful. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, money's great. Um, what will money afford you is a better lifestyle. So there's no, there's no sense in having lots of money and you're unhealthy, you're fat and overweight and you're having health conditions, okay? Because fat only goes a long way, only a, a short way, absolutely. Because it, it, after a while you've been able to fat, you start blocking out arteries and blah, 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 and become very unhealthy. So, so health is very important. So here's what happened to me this week. I'm going to share the story with you. So I had, I had a guy do some work at my house, okay? Uh, let me get his full story. I had a dreadlocks guy do some work at my house, okay? So I'm thinking the guy have his dreads and, and blah, blah, blah. So I figured eating healthy. So I stock my fridge with all these wonderful stuff. You see this good food? Okay, I call this live food. Why? Because it's not cooked, number one. Number two, there's no meat involved and it's not dead. Because anything cooked or overcooked becomes dead food, okay? So that can't, dead food doesn't give the body a lot of nutrients. So the guy called me one day screaming, making a bunch of noise. I said, hey, what's happening? He said, man, I'm up here in the house. I'm hungry. There's no food here. And I said, folks, you look at this, man. I just got this out of the fridge. All this stuff is in the fridge. Now, I'm expecting better from a dreadlocks guy, okay? And all this food. This is this beautiful food? Okay, and I'm going I'm to use this. I even, I even have wheatgrass, okay? I'm sure to use this just now. I have all this stuff. I have a lot of fruits. I have blueberries. I have cherries. High in fiber, I have cherries here, I have all the grapes, I have raspberry. And I said, what do you mean there's no food? I said, there's lots of food here, check in the fridge, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables. Guess what the guy said to me? He said, Frank, this dreadlocks here is to keep me warm. <laughs> I get it on. He said, his dreadlocks to keep him, keep him warm. So not everybody, you, you said, don't judge a book by the cover. I, ass I assume the guy's a dreadlocks, so I pack my fridge with the food I normally eat, and I figure he would duplicate the same process too. I guess he wants meat. So we probably get him some oxtail into the city, <laughs> so he can have a blast, okay? So don't judge a book by the cover. Now, why I love out here so much, when I'm out here, it's calm, it's quiet, and I pack my fridge with the food I want to eat. And what it does, folks, is no convenience to go on down the street, get an oxtail, get a curry goat, get a jerk chicken, get a fried chicken. I don't have access to those things. And I love it, okay? So that means when I'm up here, it's like boot camp style. A week, two weeks, and I'm clean, free, healthy, all the good stuff into my body, okay? Now, if you're a machine, you gotta serve as a machine. Pre-maintenance, this is what it is. This is pre-maintenance, okay? I want my food raw. I'm not quite a raw vegan yet. I'm not even quite a vegan yet. I'm just in transition, okay? I gotta stop the transition process and just get over the other side, okay? But I love lamb, I love lamb. Um, and why I love lamb more over the other meats is that lamb is not mass-produced. 
So if it's not mass produced, it tends not to have too many chemicals and stuff injected into it to make it grow fast and all that kind of stuff. Doesn't mean it's not, but it's not mass produced. So mass produced meat like chicken and beef, this kind of stuff tends to have to grow fast and they have to do many things to get it going to serve on your table. Uh, I guess when I get some chicken and beef up here, I call that guy back to continue the work. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Now, first of all, I have my wheatgrass here. I have four cubes. Okay. Now, if you if you're not on wheatgrass, get on it immediately. If you start now right off the bat, you need four cubes twice a day for 30 days. And what that does, it increases your nutritious level, increases your alkaline level, and so on and so on. After you finish your 30 day session, okay, that's assuming you don't have any medical conditions. After you finish your 30 day session, you do four cubes three times a week. You should be good to go. Now, because the system downstairs is alkaline and the water is healthy, I can actually take water from the tap and put here. So I just put room temperature water inside here and it probably sit for a couple minutes. I can even stir it with a spoon to make sure it's dissolving well. Now those are frozen cubes by the way, in case you didn't know. It's frozen cubes that get into the freezer. And this is going to sit here for, you know, a few couple minutes. I don't want it to sit too long. But as the cubes dissolve them, I'm just going to drink it, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to get my juicing going on. Now this is like breakfast for me, okay? Now I normally don't use all this at once, but I'm just doing it today because I want to see exactly what you can eat. You can eat a little bit of everything, or just with this alone, or just that alone if you want, or, or, or this alone, okay? So I'm not sure you And the first thing I want to put here is my turmeric. Turmeric is very important, as you guys know, very high on antioxidants. My ginger. Also, folks, this is my pre-holiday eating, okay? You see, most of you, this is what you guys do. You guys can't wait for the holiday to eat, to get eating, and he says, you know what? I'm gonna eat as much food as I can. And then I'm going to starve myself in January. No, no. You're packing yourself up with the crappy food and hoping to work it off in January. Then January come, you go join a gym, which is only going to last two weeks. And then you quit. And the cycle continues. Okay? So this is not, I'm not just doing it because Christmas is coming or holiday is coming. This is what I do all year round. It's part of my lifestyle now. Okay? Now, I'm hoping I can do this every day, but I don't. I do it as much as possible. And, um, and as I'm transitioning to become a raw food vegan, I think that's the whole idea. I don't want my food cooked. Okay? So, um, see this stove here, they've never been used yet. The, the, the pots there, it's just for advertisement purpose only. <laughs> it's for fashion. Let me show you my pots. They're brand new. Brand new. Never been used. <laughs> okay? Never been used brand new. I'm not going to tell you what the name is because I'm not, I'm not advertising for the company, but it's a good pot. Never been used. It's part of my decor setup. <laughs> okay? And, uh, but I hope I never have to use it because I, I'm hoping that when I'm up here, I should be able to juice all my food or eat all my food raw. And that's the whole idea of being up here in the, my country, whom I call it. Okay? And relax. Clear my head. When I come up here, I'm out of the city. I'm out of the hustle and bustle. My head is clear. When I come back to the city, I'm charged. I'm ready for business. My mind is ready. My mind is healthy. My body's healthy. I can work long hours if I need to because I have the right food into my system. So we got turmeric there. We have ginger. You have lemon in there, and of course, these are all pre-washed. Oh, my favorite, tomatoes, nice. You can eat this like, mmm, mmm, yeah, mmm. You see, very healthy, raw. You, sh you know, you know, you know what? After the one that I did to walk in my garden, I just eat breakfast. I eat some tomatoes, eat some carrots, eat some beets, Eat some peppers. I hate eating broccoli. <laughs> so this, I'm going to juice it for sure. So this is where you should be living, okay, on a regular basis, okay? Eating it raw. When you come to the country home, you're going to get it raw. Take your man out to the gutter. Let's go. Food time. We juice it. All right. So here we go, folks. time. The broccoli. Red peppers. Ooh. Ooh. 
gotta cut that. A little bit too big for this one. And cut it in half. Get it all going here. This is this is amazing. If you can eat like this every day, folks, I'm kidding you not. Number one, for a lot of women, you won't have a weight problem. Okay? Number two, um, you won't have a weight problem because your weight can be very consistent, okay? And the other thing I also do, I minimize my carb intake, so minimize my rice, minimize my uh, pasta, minimize all that kind of stuff. Kind of keep it green, juicing veggies for the most part. And of course, I have my fruits here. Um, nice raspberry. This stuff is all beautiful. I pre-washed this stuff before I put it in the fridge. You eat this stuff, folks, it's, it's really, really tasty. This stuff is like, mmm, it's really good. See? Mmm. Really, truly, if I had a garden, I can eat all my food out of the garden, okay? Now, I've been doing this for a few years now, so you might not have to do it as extreme as I am, sometimes. It might take you a transitional time to get it done. But if you can, wonderful way to live. Wonderful way to live. So, and you can't go wrong, okay? When you go to the doctor, and the doctor, tell the doctor you're sick, 99% of the time when the doctor tells you, change your eating habit. 1% of the time the doctor will tell you, exercise. All right, very important. Now, I'm not on an anti-exercise program, but what I'm trying to get to you, come December, January, is everyone advertise you, join a gym, join a gym, join a gym. And all they're doing is turn you into a fool because exercise pay a very minimum part in proper health. This is the problem. Food is the problem. Whatever you put into your mouth, what kind of water you drink, what kind of air you breathe, okay? Exercise is very minimum. So once this is in shape first, then you go walking. More important, if you're overweight, you need to lose weight first before you start exercising. If an extreme fat person starts to exercise, you're putting a lot of pressure and pain on your joints, which is destroying your ligaments, which causes you to have more problems when you get older. So if you have a weight problem, don't exercise. Get into the kitchen. Eat like me. Okay? And don't be like that dreadlocks guy. <laughs> Let's continue this. Okay. So this is enough stuff here. This Blender is getting a bit messy. I think I probably need a new one. It's getting a bit messy. Um, or it's not set properly, but I think I need to get a new blender. Um, not blender, juicer. Okay, so this will be good to go here. Okay, now I'm gonna shoot another video later on in the year. I'm uh, not in a year, in a few days from now, and show you about my green, all green detox program. All green detox program. I'll probably do this for lunch. I have my nice asparagus, dill, um, kale, green peppers. Granny Smith apple, spinach, cucumber, all green. We put some lime in here, everything green. We do green, all green juicing for seven to 14 days. I can show you this, folks. The last time I did this, I did it with a, um, a friend of mine, seven to 14 days, all green, folks. I lost about 15 pounds, okay? 15 pounds, okay? This all you're gonna use. This, and you can include uh, weed, uh, weed grass. What weed grass does, it increase your nutrition level. All through the body. So almost every, almost every nutrient the body needs on a daily basis, it's here in wheatgrass. Okay? So I'm gonna shoot another video on that coming up soon. Let's get to the juice that I just made here. See this folks? This probably give me like two or three glasses of juice. Okay, it's really good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna drink one glass. This glass is for me. And um this glass here is for you. <laughs> but uh, um, you can probably come by and get it some other time. Actually, if you're in my neighborhood, I'm in Ingersoll, by the way. If you're in my neighborhood, just message me. Say, Frank, I'm in your neighborhood. I want to come by and see your house. Come and check it out. Because we still have some more of these lots that we're selling. And... Um, you can get a house just like this one too. It's a beautiful house. Um, the price is extremely affordable compared to the GTA. And um, I use it as my country home when I want to get away. I want to get out of the city. That's what I do, use it for. And um, 
So I'm setting it up where the basement get finished and all that kind of stuff and you show you how to live affordable if you want to live affordable, live a quality lifestyle. You're getting a that nice food coming in. Your mind is clear. Not too much hustle and bustle that happens around here. Um, so you can be clearing the mind, clearing the body with good quality water, good oxygen and good food. And um, you have nice weed grass. Weed grass is a must. If you're not on weed grass, okay, get on weed grass immediately. Folks, this is not dieting. This is preventative maintenance. Being proactive with your health before something goes wrong. Okay, I don't have a, uh, any health problems. Most of my friends and clients don't have any health problems. But we use this stuff because we think it's the way to, um, to live. Proactive. No, it's all you need. Whether you're male or female, go out and buy yourself a bathroom scale. Everyone needs a bathroom scale. Why? You can lie to yourself about what you eat. The scale would not lie to you. And you need to monitor your weight consistently. If at any given week, your weight moves 5 to 10 pounds, that means you just put a lot of crap into your system. You eat the wrong kind of food. Okay? Because if you're eating the right kind of food, when it goes in, it should burn it off within that 24 hours or less. Or 3, 4 hours or less. The body burns it off fast with good quality food. If your body is holding food for extended period of time, which causes weight gain, it means you're eating the wrong kind of food. Okay? Again, my name is Frank Corbin. To your success alkaline uh, the body through proper food, uh, proper water, oxygenate your body to good quality here. You smell it here, it's nice and clean, it's fresh, all, go, all, all, consistently all day long. In the morning you have nice fresh clear inside the house because the ERV system is working. To your success, see you then. Contact me for your real estate opportunities. I have a lot of, oh, oh my God, I'm gonna kill you. I have a lot of stuff going on coming for the new year. You gotta get on board. Get on my WhatsApp VIP list, folks, because that's where it comes first, okay? And also join my Facebook group, The Next Generation. Next Generation Money. You want to be a part of that because I'm making these two um, media exclusive for all my VIP clients. So my Next Generation, I'm closing it off so the masses can get access to it. And my WhatsApp VIP list, that's exclusive to my clients and my VIP investors. So that's what we're doing for the, the new year. If you're part of my Next Generation group, Add all your friends and family members that you want to see living good life, good healthy quality food, and making lots of money. Okay? To your success. See you then. 2018 is coming. We can talk about the year of the, the cheetah. Not the cheater. The cheetah. You have the cheetah. The tiger. The animal. The cat. The shia. Shia. That's, a, <laughs> that's what we're going to 2018. The shia. 2018. The year. Of the, of, the, of the cheetah, execution excellence we're going with, one shot to success. I'm looking to create another bunch of millionaires in 2018. See you. Hope you're one of them. To your success. See you then.